Hello, hi and welcome to today's Unity tutorial. We will start implementing multiple levels now. So we are at the state where we have a running level, just one. We have just this one level where we can jump, we have different obstacles, uh, we can win and we can lose, kind of. If I fall down, you will see we just get this message down here, you lose. Respectively, if I, um, if I reach the goal that's back there, we will get a message, you win. That's it. That, that's the stuff we're getting right now. We want to change this a little bit so that when you lose, you automatically restart the scene or the level. Um, and if you win, you're automatically going to the next scene or the next level. That needs a bit of uh, programming, not too much. It's more in the editor to, to find our way around here. What's where and how do I actually do it? The first thing, because we want to implement multiple levels now, the best way of doing that is using prefabs, not just copying and pasting, but using prefabs. Because if we change one prefab, for example, the player, uh, this player will change in all other levels as well. So they are referenced to the prefab element. Um, therefore, what we will do, I have my prefab folder here. You can just drag and drop it anywhere in your, higher, in your um, assets here. I have that prefab or folder already. I will take my player, put it in the prefabs. I will take my sphere, rename it as goal, uh, put that in my prefab all folder. Um, and also my game controller, I uh, will put that in my prefab folder. There we go. Now I can reuse those in all other, in, in different levels. Wherever I want to use them, I, that's, I can just drag and drop them uh, in there. Right? Oh, I need another goal, just put that here and so on. Even in another level, in another scene, I can just reuse them. So what do we need to do to use other scenes? Let's quickly build one. I will go down here. I already have a scenes folder. I will uh, right click into the scene folder, create a scene and that one i will just call level let's give it a nice name now the naming is actually quite important because we are referencing to the name later on so give it a nice name for example i will name that zero for zone zero and level zero two so that's the second level this one here that we have right now open is a sample scene right now i will call, rename that to level zero for zone zero zero one for the first level we need to reload the scene because it's still open of course. There we go. So uh, if I want to make more levels, that's just I can just do that. So let's quickly do level two. Level two is this. Uh, I can go to my uh, prefabs folder. I will just take one ground that goes here. I will take the long ground that goes. I don't know. This is just now designing the level, pushing pushing those things around a little bit. So you have to fall down here a little bit and then uh let's put some stickies there's a sticky here this is the, you see where i'm going i'm just putting elements into the level right a bouncy here a bouncy there and so on and then there's a goal here in the end of course you can of course do that as you want and the player of course needs to go somewhere in the beginning here um if you want to put it on the correct level uh which one was it which setting was it ah gosh dang it always mess it up doesn't matter uh, you can just drag and drop it up high and low. Right? So player should start here. So that's the second level now. This level I will automatically go to when, whoops, of course the second level still has a camera. Just delete the main camera that was there. Uh, we want to use the player camera. You see, there's this a little bit rotated strangely and stuff, but it also works. Uh, we also need a game controller. That's why there was the error here, right? We need a game controller and the uh, goal here is related to the game controller. But your console tells you what go what was wrong, what's going on, right? Whoops. Uh, bleh. I should not have double clicked. Whoopsie. Good. So. <clears throat> Did I miss anything else? Let me just check. Let let's quickly replay. Because I probably missed something else when just copying and pasting. No, that looks fine. Boing, we can lose. And that is not referenced to something. So if you click on here, it will tell you what's not referenced. There on the player, something is not referenced. And that is win-lose script. We need that from the game controller. Done. Good. So I don't want to test it through. If you get any errors, just click your way through. So what we want to do is we want to go back to the first scene. So assets in the first scene and then level zero, zero, 001. And what we want to do is we want to, as soon as we reach the goal here, 
we want to go to the second scene. So on the goal, I want to change the script. I don't want to change this script. We have the win-lose script for that reason we've got this one. So opening our win-lose script on our game controller. And here we have the conditions that we implemented early on. When we win a level, what happens right now, we just get that message. But we also want to change the scene. If we lose a level, what happens right now, you lose, that's it. So to work with different scenes, to switch between levels, we will need to use another uh, library here. We are using Unity Engine dot scene management. With scene management, it allows us to switch between scenes to load different levels. Uh, that's what this one is used for. So now, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> um, the first thing, if I lose a level, what do I want to do? I want to put out this message, sure, but I also want to do the following. I want to go with my scene manager. I want to uh, load a scene. And which scene do I want to load? That one is pretty simple. I want to load, uh, how to build it is pretty strange actually. I want to load in the scene manager, get active scene dot name. So we want to load the scene that is currently active when we lose. That's it. So let's minimize this. Let's check it out in level one. So when we lose now, we should just automatically reload the level. Boink, and we restart the level when we lose. Of course, we could put many, many more conditions, but that's what we want right now. The second thing we want to do is not when losing, but when winning. Of course, you would usually have a pop-up or something. We could add that later on, but not right now. 10 minute videos, <clears throat> quick videos. Um, what we want to do when the, um, whoops, scene manager, when we win a level is we want to automatically load the next level that is in the pipeline, right? That, that we decide, uh, we want to load a scene and there we want to load a scene by a name. We have six different variations, what we can load, like what type of scene we can load. We want to load it by a name. And what I simply want to do, I'm going to make a public variable that is a string, which is a text. And that text is the name of the next level, right? Uh, next level name. Let's put that in here and we're done. Right? That is it. The only thing that would be nice is uh, the following, just to catch an error. If next level name, right? If the next level name and exists, if we have something put in there is unequal this, right? If it's empty, if the next level name is empty, we won't do that. We would just say game ended. That's it because that would lead to an error and we just catch the error already before, um, before it really happens. So let's see. Let's quickly see, we have one and a half minutes left. That's all we need uh, to finish this level here. <laughs> so, uh, boink, I can do it, I can do it. We can add timers and stuff in this level as well, boink. And you see, you win, it shows up, no error message. Why did we not go to the next level? Because we have this global variable now on the game controller. What's the next level name? And we need to put the next level name in there. And you will see we will have another error that I will explain in a second. So the next level would be level zero, zero 002. That's the one we want to load. So let's play. And you will see we will get an error. When I finish the level, why do I have to play through? <laughs> oh my God, now I'm actually under pressure, so I have to finish it. Ooh, don't fail, don't fail, got it. And you see, we get this error message. C level couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. The level that we have right now is down here in our um, in our project folder. The project folder does not belong to the finished game. The finished game is the build. So what we need to do is add that level to the build. And we do that by clicking uh, File, Build Settings. And then we have the scenes that are in the build. And we just drag and drop all the scenes that we need in the final game in there. And that automatically adds their name to available scenes in the game. Uh, the topmost scene here is the one the game starts at. So that we will put a main menu there. 
We could alternatively, instead of using the name, we can also use the index here. Um, I prefer using namings. And let's try. So when I hit the goal now, we should be able to see... I'm got, I got stuck in the sticky one. Great, I, I don't want to fail. That's the problem right here. I saw nothing. Uh, come on. Yeah. And I hit the goal and I'm now in the next scene. The thing is, when I go here in this next scene into the goal, you will see nothing happens because we have not named the next scene. Okay. So that is a very quick overview of scene management. Now you could build 10 levels, 20 levels. You could build as many levels as you want. We will go on and improving, of course, everything in the next video. There's going to be more and more and more. I think we made a good progress here. We could now build a nice game, actually, <laughs> with levels, with 100 levels. We don't have a save system, for example. That's what we need. We don't have a main menu. We don't have pop-ups like menus. And a lot of things are still missing, and we're approaching it. We're getting there. So if you've got any questions, if you want something special in the project just leave a comment below and uh if this is any helpful if you liked it uh, if you are better in my game already than i am leave a like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.